Rangoli, a piece by artist Saujanya Kenny in colored rice. Rangoli, or kolams, is one of the most popular folk art forms practiced in India. Every morning, millions of Hindu women begin their day by creating beautiful patterns on the ground just outside their front doors, using traditional materials such as rice powder or crushed limestone, invoking divine protection and blessing as they create these traditional patterns passed down from generation to generation for centuries. The colorful tradition of Rangoli making dates back to the Indus Valley Civilization, 2500 BC. The word Rangoli has its origins in the Sanskrit language and has been derived from the word Rangavali, where Ranga means color and valley means row or creeper or vine. Rangavali translates to rows of color or creepers of colors. In East Indian culture, guests and visitors occupy a very special place, and a rangoli in the front yard is an expression of this warm hospitality. A colorful rangoli enhances the beauty of the surroundings and spreads joy and happiness all around. Rangoli also has a religious significance. It is believed that the gods are fond of cleanliness and things of beauty, and this is one household art meant for propitiating these deities. Rangoli is also a type of tantric art. The works are not intended to be permanent. Sometimes these decorations are made with even more perishable flower petals. Like Native American sand paintings or Buddhist mandalas, they serve to remind us of the transient nature of life and the universal cycle of creation, destruction, and recreation. This example of Rangoli is being created by artist Saujanya Kenny for the 2009 Cross-Cultural Arts Exhibit sponsored by the Fremont Cultural Arts Council. Saujanya says, My earliest memories of creating a rangoli are from my childhood, when I would watch my mother decorate the front of our house with a fresh rangoli every morning. She would do a more elaborate and colorful rangoli during various Hindu festivals, and I was very impressed at how it would instantly create a festive spirit. As I grew older, my mother would allow me to decorate the stairs leading to our front door during the Hindu festivals and so began my fascination with the art of Rangoli. To this day, I try not to miss an opportunity to create a Rangoli, and no festival or special occasion is complete without one. The theme of the Cross-Cultural Arts Exhibit is the five-petaled Fremontia blossom, a shrub native to this area of California, and the emblem flower of the city of Fremont. As Saujanya says, since this Rangoli had to be displayed for almost a month, I decided it would be better to make the rangoli on a piece of cardboard instead of creating it directly on the floor of the gallery, allowing me to do the initial work at home, although it will take more time and effort than creating the entire rangoli the traditional way. I usually create a rangoli from scratch at the venue, preparing the design and the required materials beforehand. Creating a big colorful rangoli from start to finish usually takes me about three to four hours on average. Traditionally, the rangoli is created using a coarse white powder made of limestone or sandstone or rice flour. The technique involves holding a handful of rangoli powder in your hand and uniformly releasing the powder using your thumb and index finger to create intricate patterns and designs. Day-to-day -day rangoli patterns can range from simple to intricate. Most commonly, Rangoli designs start with dots, which are connected to form lines and other geometrical shapes, such as swastikas, alms, stars, squares, circles, triangles, and so forth. The designs are generally symmetrical. The motifs in traditional Rangoli are inspired by nature. Flowers, creepers, swans, elephants, peacocks, mangoes, and so forth. Once the Rangoli designs have been created, they are colored with various powdered dyes. The colors traditionally were derived from natural dyes, from bark of trees, leaves, indigo, and so forth. Today, synthetic dyes are used in a range of bright colors. Artists are limited only by their imagination when it comes to the media used to create a colorful rangoli. Petals of various flowers and green leaves can be used. Colored sand, colored rice grains, lentils, beans of various colors, and so forth are also commonly used to decorate a rangoli pattern. Saujanya decided to use colored rice to decorate this rangoli, as it lasts longer than most other materials available here in California. In preparation for the Cross-Cultural Arts Exhibit, she created a design with the Fremontia flower as a centerpiece and transferred the design over to a piece of cardboard. 
The finished design is about 42 inches in diameter. She created the Ranguli material by mixing food color with rice and then drying it out completely. Sajanya hopes that you enjoy this Rangoli as much as she enjoyed creating it.